hello students welcome to my channel uh, in this video we are going to discuss example 1.6 from chapter introduction and the first law of thermodynamics and from the book applied thermodynamics by dd stop and mcconkey statement of example 1.6 is in the turbine of a gas turbine unit the gases flow through the turbine at 17 kg per second and the mass the power developed by the turbine is 14000 kilowatt so with the statement in parallel if we write the data so the mass flow rate m dot is 17 kg per second the power developed is basically W dot and it is 14,000 kilowatt as it is out from output from the system so it will be minus 14,000 kilowatt the specific enthalpies of the gases at inlet and outlet are 1200 kilojoule per kilogram and 360 kilojoule per kilogram so H1 is 1200 kilojoule per kilogram and H2 is 360 kilojoule per kilogram and the velocities of the gases at inlet and outlet are 60 meter per second the velocities are represented with C C1 is 60 meter per second and the velocity at exit C2 is 150 meter per second. Calculate the rate at which heat is rejected. So we are required to find Q dot first. This is the heat rejected. Find also the area of the inlet pipe. We have to also find A1, inlet pipe area, cross-sectional area. That the specific volume of the gases at inlet is 0 0.5 cubic meter per kilogram. If the specific volume at inlet is 0 0.5 cubic meter per kilogram for that case we will find the inlet area of the pipe so looking to the data uh, in this example specifically uh, the steady flow e e e equation uh, applied so this is the schematic of the turbine gas turbine unit inlet state 1 and exit state 2 uh, first we have to find the heat rejection q dot and secondly we have to find the inlet pipe area a1 so straight forward we will use the steady flow equation m dot into h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus Q dot plus W dot is equal to M dot into H2 plus C2 square by 2. In this equation, M dot is basically the mass flow rate. In this case, the mass flow rate of the gas, which is 17 kilogram per second. H1 is the specific enthalpy at inlet. C1 is the velocity at the inlet. Q dot is the heat rejected, W dot is the power developed, again M dot is mass flow rate, H2 is the specific enthalpy at exit or outlet, C2 is the kinetic velocity or only velocity uh, of the gas at exit or outlet. So we will just find the kinetic energies 
for unit mass flow rate are directly we can put these values but here in this example the kinetic energies are separately found and then the values of those kinetic energies were inserted in this equation so for unit mass flow rate the kinetic energies are the kinetic energy at inlet is c1 square by 2 c1 square by 2 c1 is 60 60 square by 2 so it becomes 60 square by 2 and finally it becomes 1.8 kilojoule per kilogram similarly kinetic energy at outlet is c2 square by 2 is equal to 2.5 square times kinetic energy at inlet it is uh, the kinetic energy um, uh, uh, sorry uh, c1 is basically the inlet velocity and c2 is the outlet velocity so c2 is 2.5 times of the inlet velocity so we can also directly put the values of c2 c2 is uh, 150 so 150 square by 2 we can also directly find this kinetic energy, kinetic energy from this uh, calculation so it's very simple again we will get 11.25 kilojoule per kilogram so now directly putting these values in the equation steady flow equation which is mentioned here suppose this is equation a so putting these values all values are now quantities are known to us so substituting or putting these values we get 17 into H1 is 1200 plus C1 square by 2 value is 1.8. Q dot is unknown. You will find it. W dot is minus 14,000 is equal to M dot is 17. H2 is 360 plus C2 square by 2 is 11.25. So the value of Q dot is minus 11. 9.3 kilowatt is calculated from this equation so this is the this negative sign shows the heat rejection so heat rejected is 119.3 kilowatt secondly we have to find the inlet area for that we will use the continuity equation which is m dot is equal to C A by V where M dot is mass flow rate C is the velocity A is the area and V is the specific volume so if we are interested to find the inlet area so this A will become A1 M dot is fix, has fixed value V is specific volume V1 and C is basically C1 so if we put these values so A1 is equal to M dot is 17 V1 is given in the data which is 0 0.5 and C1 is 60 so if we simplify this the value of inlet area is 0 0.142 square meter so this is the overall discussion regarding the solution of example 1.6. In next video, we will discuss example 1.7. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos.
ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट न्यू वीडियोज